Mawale, tell us about your your next uh, line of work that you will do. Um, well, I'm very passionate now about the Transformation Institute. Okay. Which is, uh, let me, let me, let me, let me put this. Mm -hmm. When you look at the conventional university, yes. there's, a, there's a gap, mm -hmm. a major gap between academics mm -hmm. and the real world. Yes. A gap between the town mm -hmm. and the town. Wow. Okay? Yes. Um, and so the Transformation Institute is set up to address issues practically. Yes. All right? Yes. When we talk of entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. we build people. We have a program called Zero to Hero yes. at the Institute. Yes. We build people, mm -hmm. we equip them, and actually fund. Yes. We also serve as venture capitalists for them mm -hmm. to start up mm -hmm. their businesses. Oh. We have the Eye to Eye Inspired to Inspire program, yes, yes. which runs uh, just helping people break the shackles of, of, of their past yes. and moving into their future. Yes. We have the, the business owner, the mind of the business owner course, which teaches people to get out of the mentality of uh, an employee yes. to the mentality of a business owner. You know, so we're developing all these programs yes. at the Transformation Institute. I'm very passionate about it. I'm really excited about that right now. And I'm sure it will fly. It's already flying. And yes. there are very many people signing to yes. join us in this institute. Yes, speak. that's right. We already have a commendable number. Yes, very, very large number. Oh. So what are the, some of the challenges that you face probably when you're coming from selling mangoes to such a big, <laughs> big organization like this one? You didn't like the mango story, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Yes, it's very funny. You know, you know, I saw the scripture in the Bible where God says, my grace is sufficient for you. Yeah. You know, and the only way I can explain that is, you're going through stuff, but you don't know how bad it is until you come out. Yes. And then you look back and you say, what? You mean that's how I was? You know? Yes. And I think that's the way it is. So in terms of challenges, mm -hmm. if there's one challenge that I had in the past, mm -hmm. is that I was too gullible oh. with regards to trusting people. So, Dr. Wale, you've been in Nigeria, you have been in Kenya, and I'm sure you've studied the economy of Kenya when you were around here. So what would you say about the economy of Kenya? Hey, huh? anybody mm -hmm. who wants to make it big yes. in business, uh -huh. this is where they should be right now. Because, mm -hmm. you see, the Kenyan economy mm -hmm. is so positioned to fly. Yes. In terms of infrastructure, mm -hmm. it's there. You can see tangible developments going on every day. Yes. All right? Yes. So, um, I would say, anybody who really wants to make it big time, mm -hmm. this is the place to be. Yes. And one of the services we offer, of course, in our bigger outsourcing, is to help investors who want to come in here mm -hmm. to settle into Kenya. Yes. All right? Help wow. them in every area, mm -hmm. company registration, mm -hmm. getting a house for them, everything help them to settle. That's part of what So, mm -hmm. I say Kenya, is the place to be right now. It's like a, yes. I was told the story yes. of the first shoe company yes. to come to Africa. Uh -huh. And they sent the first company sent a group of people. I yes. said, go and see Africa and uh, come back and see if it's a viable place to do business. Yes. And so uh, they sent their people mm -hmm. and then people came back and said, you know what? Mm -hmm. That place is not good for business. Mm -hmm. Nobody wears shoes. <laughs> yes. Then another company sent its own people to go and prospect and look at the land. Mm -hmm. And they came back, saw the same thing, mm -hmm. and they said, you know what, that place is the best place we should go. Nobody wears shoes. Mm -hmm. Alright? So, one saw the fact that nobody wore shoes mm -hmm. as a problem. Yes. The other saw the fact that nobody wore shoes as an opportunity to go and establish a monopoly. Oh, yes. Alright? Mm -hmm. So it depends on how we see it. Let me tell you something, and I think we'll round up on it. One, 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 one thing I've discovered is that we see the world not as it is, but as we are. Uh, okay. The way we view the world is tainted by our upbringing, our exposure, yes. our perceptions. That is how we see the world. Yes. If we can just get over that, mm -hmm. all right, then you'll be amazed at the opportunities mm -hmm. we will see. Maybe just a final word okay. to encourage someone out there who feels maybe that there is no opportunity. That
that maybe they in a close environment, even after all that, is there something maybe as a closing or parting shot that you can maybe tell me? Well, I would just say that success is a choice. Failure is a choice. Ignorance is a choice. Knowledge is a choice. Where you are today is the product of choices you made yesterday. Where you will be tomorrow will be determined by the choices you make today. And there's no better way to end it than a scripture. God himself said, I've set before you this day death and life, blessings and curses. Choose life that you may live. So life is not, and prosperity is not a divine sentence on humanity. A prosperity is not a divine sentence on Wale, on Diana, on anyone. No. It is a choice we make. Yes. God will provide a platform. Alright? So what we need to do, and I think our biggest prayer is pray that our eyes be opened to see the opportunities that have been given to us. And one good way to tap into the opportunities is to develop ourselves. You see, one challenge is a lot of people have not developed their minds to be able to take advantage of the opportunities around them. Wow. Yeah. Dr. Wagner, when I came into your penthouse, or rather in your house, it was very welcoming. And one of the things I realized was the beautiful music that you were playing when I got in here. And I would love, and I'm sure the rest of us would love to listen to some of the pieces that you love playing. <laughs> Kindly do us the honors of just playing at least a part of a piece. Okay. Um... What do you want me to play? Yeah. Jazz, classics, hymns. Classics. I love classics. <laughs> I love classics. Uh, what can I play now? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay, okay. Let me play. Let me see if I can play a hymn. Yes. In um. In um. Yes, let me 